Actor Todd Lawson LaTourette's status as a war veteran and amputee has helped him carve out a decent career in Hollywood. It's a somewhat unconventional angle, but it worked for La Tourette, who has scored small parts in big films like the George Clooney war comedy The Men Who Stare at Goats, as well as roles in series like Netflix's modern western crime drama Longmire. We've got a lot of our old regulars up here. Ah, uh, here he is. And most recently, La Tourette appeared in the critically acclaimed Better Call Saul. Fans of the Breaking Bad spin-off series will recognize La Tourette from the season 4 episode Quite a Ride, which aired on AMC on September 3rd. La Tourette scored the gig due in part to his missing appendage, which he previously claimed was the unfortunate outcome of an injury he sustained while serving overseas. However, it turns out that was a total lie. Speaking with Albuquerque NBC affiliate KOB4, La Tourette revealed that he isn't really a war veteran and that he didn't lose his hand and part of his arm during active duty. In reality, he cut off and cauterized his own hand and then lied about his identity as a military vet in the hopes of landing roles in film and on television. La Tourette's lies helped him achieve his goal, but the guilt his fibbing left him with far outweighs the benefits he's reaped. La Tourette explained that the incident took place in 2001 when he wasn't taking medications meant to help him manage his bipolar disorder. He told the station, I severed my own hand with a skill saw. The state of my mind was a psychotic episode. He added that Hollywood believed his story and nobody questioned how he became an amputee, and he was seen as a unique casting opportunity. His missing limb and how his character lost it was even a plot point in this episode of the CW supernatural drama The Messengers. How exactly did you lose it? Your arm. I was riding shotgun in a Humvee in Kandahar. The attention and praise may have felt good in the moment, but it didn't last forever and left La Tourette feeling guilty. La Tourette, who is reportedly back on his bipolar disorder medication as of the making of this video, noted that he is fully aware of the consequences and fallout that will result from his confession, but felt it was crucial to come clean. I'm ousting myself from the Mexico film industry, and gladly so, just to say what I've said. He was also candid in stating that he doesn't expect anyone to forgive him for his wrongdoings, but he remains hopeful that him opening up about his struggles with mental illness and the extremes his bipolar disorder drove him to will motivate others to seek help if they need it. The power is in your hands to take that medication in the morning or at night so that this discourse of my life doesn't need to necessarily be yours. If you or someone that you know is struggling with mental illness, call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. Visit the National Institute of Mental Health online at the address on your screen or call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255.